this one class, I before we will proceed with this uh, overview of this subject. So I just want to ask class, when you hear the word data and information, what's the difference of the two words? Uh, who can give me what is data and what is information? Who difference nila? Who will share? No one is a wrong answer here, yes, ha? <laughs> okay, you may raise your hand. Okay, Sarata, please. Um, data room is an organized and draw while information is organized now for me. So, an organized and data, organized and information. So, Mato yung one, Ivan. Okay, thank you, Ivan. What else? What's another idea? No one is wrong answer here. Huh? Okay, raise your hand. Nay mo ka ulaw. Ah, kita pa. Kita pa yung raise hand. I'm a call of What is data and what is information? Unsa pala ko ni uh, ang kwan lang ani paka dumugo din yo sa word data. Unsa man ang data? Unsa man ang information? Ah, what comes into my para at least makuha ninyo ang idea about data siya. Ah, I I need another one before we will proceed. Uh, like Soralta said, uh, data is unorganized and then information is organized. So, what else? Ang saan ninyo pag-define sa data and information? Uh, yes. Alam mo, wala mo nag-lunch class? <laughs> Igutong pa? Ah, uh, may na gray sand. It's a, it's a no. Okay. Ah, it's a no. Si Aldrin? Oh, it's a no. Si Suwan? Suwan, ma'am. Ah, yes, ma'am. Data are raw facts, ma'am, while um information are data with, with kuan, ma'am, context. Sorry, sige, kung so three class, naka-mute pala ko. Okay, uh, so one said na ang data is a raw fox and then the information has a context. Okay, so ang data class, tama to gingon, tama to gingon, ni, ni, ang sa tawag ni, ni, ni Soralta and then so one, na data, it is a collection of facts. So, ang information was that that fox, uh, that 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 the fox has uh, in uh, what we call that one that uh, information is the one that puts those facts into the context. So, maotoy both pasabot sa information. And ang data collection dang siya it of facts. Ah, uh, collection dang siya. So, kung wala kayo mag-gather na facts about the data, dili siya makonsider as an information. Okay, ha? Okay, data is, is only a collection of facts, while those facts that will put into the context is considered as the information. Ha? I should mo kalibog That's the data and that's the information okay so in the modern word class data and its information have significance and there are different elementation taking place for stories in different ways so data is simply an model collection of facts and figures or you can say that data is a set of value or values in a particular format 
So that refers to a single set of item value. So the data items have been classified into sub-items. So, may uban data na maklasify siya into sub-items. May uban na sad na na data na maklasify na dili siya ma, ma what you call that one, ma set into sub-items. Kung a single item lang siya. So later makita ninyo ang example. So, like I said, the data items are then classified into sub-items. So, which is the group of items that are not called the simple primary form of the item. Okay. So, take a look at this. So, this is an example class. So, let's take an example. When you get a data kanang a student data so unsa may mga kailangan ninyo pa on the data sa student ba you need to get the id iba the id of the student para ma-identify ninyo ang student iba you need to have the id the name the address the age and the gender iba kana ang mga kailangan ninyo na data those are the data uh, pero kanang data class na data na i-divide mo kanang i-broke down into sub-items. Mm. Ang ID, di limang pwede kay ID man lang, isa man lang ID. Pero once you say name, di ba ang name composed of first, middle, and last. So mawag siya, i-broke siya into sub-items. Ha? So, mga ni siya, ha? The example of that is the name. Ang address also. Diba when you, when you fill up the address, diba na siya street number, building number, city, diba? Barangay, as in, like I said, city, barangay, diba? So, ma-broke down siya into sub-items, diba? So, that's what we call the group data items. The other data for the student is the age. So, di ba, pag tanaw ninyo sa age, di siya mabrok into sub-item. So, consider siya as a single item. Okay. And then, the last data, based sa ato example, is the gender. Di ba? Are you with me, class? Naminaw mo na ko. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma thank you. Yes, ma so the, thank you. The gender can be broke. Thank you, Dai. And the gender can be broke down into sub items also. Isa man lang sa gender. Ma broke down ninyo. Dili ah. man lang, di ba? Gender can be a ah, male and female, di ba? Oh, so na may option, and I can either be male or female. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so mao to siya class. Once ang data ma broke down into sub items, it is considered as a group data item. Ha? Pero kung ang data gani dili na niya, dili na ni siya kailangan ng sub item, so that data is considered as the single data. Ha? Single item or single data. Okay. Thank you. So, maolang ana ha? Okay. Next. So, what is data structure? Okay. So, in the context of computers, uh, the data structure is a specific way of storing and organizing data in the computer's memory so that this data can be easily retrieved and efficiently used when needed later. So the data can be managed in many different ways, so, such as logical or mathematical model for a particular organization data is called a data structure. Okay. So, the variety of a specific data models depends on the two factors class. Uh, the first one, uh, it must be loaded enough into the structure to reflect the actual relationship. So, mga to ganina, for example, na to ganina, ang student, ikuha dyan yung mga factual data. You need to have the ID number. 
di ba? We need to have the name, the age, the the sex. Ang sa pa? S A X sa class ha. Joke lang. Okay. The 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 not 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 the sex if it is male or female, but we will will have to rephrase that one the gender. Okay. The basi ma misinterpret isod na, di ba? Okay. The gender then the age. So multiple boat pa sa boat ha to reflect the actual relationship of the data with a real world object. Okay, for the second one, uh, the formation should be simple that one can efficiently process the data whenever necessary. So, duha lang, kana lang duha ka factors. Um, uh, the right specific data model depends on the on those two factors. Yeah. Okay, so for this category of data structure, okay. Data structures can be subdivided into two major types. So, mauna ni siya, ang linear and the non-linear. So, this is my hanging question. Murag ko, anak, ang class. The linear data structure and then the non-linear data structure. Hello. Hello. So, all you have to do, class, is to study or read what I mean. You read about what uh, well, uh, differentiate or uh, read about linear data and then non-linear data. What's the difference ana nila? So, maoy atong uh, buhatunon ninyo for, for the next kuan ninyo, for the asynchronous ninyo. So, I will give you class the, the activity para sa Thursday ninyo. Uh, I will just have to post it in the in the class work. Yeah? So we will not meet on Thursday, but you have the activity. So please, uh, I have to post it lang in the class work. Yeah? So maolang ni siya. The question, uh, it's about linear and linear. Yeah? So, I, kuan na ko kung sa'y buhato ninyo about ano. Ah, no worries, please. Dili pa ta mag mag coding ha. Wala pa coding kaya wala pa pa ta nag start. Ah, so purely on research palang ta ani ang discussion. Kaya research kaya yung mag mag code natan then wala pa ta nag nag na discuss about ani na mga topics sa linear at nonlinear. So the activity will be on linear and nonlinear. Then after that one on Tuesday we will discuss that one. Okay, that's my coming question to you, class. Okay, any question or any additional information with regards to the ihatag lang na ko niyo karon ang overview about data structure. Okay, any additional information that you want to to add with regards to the data structure, class? Uh, and so far. So, ana lang class ha. Uh, please be updated lang sa class work. I will post the activity para sa Thursday. But the topic is about linear and linear. Okay. You want some? Uh, if you want some copy, uh, you want this copy class. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, <laughs> Nasuko ka do. <laughs> Ay, wala mami, na excite lang. <laughs> okay, no problem. Okay, I will not give you the PPT class, but I will convert this one into the PDF. And the same content that we have on it. Okay, after our class. So, kana lang ako pa ninyo. Okay, so we'll have our full discussion on Tuesday next week. And then, karong Thursday activity. Activity mo kay asynchronous man natin. Okay, so any other any other questions, class? Clarification? Before I will dismiss you. Kala na? Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, attendance, tanan, naka-attendance na. Yes, ma'am. Okay, sige. 
Thank you so much, class, for your time. Before we will end, uh, let's have a prayer first. Uh, I want to hear the voice of Lucero. Lucero, okay, yeah. Pwede lang, uh, pwede kaka-pray, dai. Lucero. Hello, hello. Madungog. Madungog oh. kung... Yes, madungog ka, dai. Okay, dai. Yeah. Mm, yes, ma'am. Okay, we may start then. Thank you. Let us put ourselves in the holy presence of the Lord as we all say. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, holy be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done in, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Dai Lucero. Thank you so much, class, for your time and effort. Thank you. See you next week, class. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. -bye. Bye.